on February 5th, 1597. In Japan on the hill of Tatayama, right outside of Nagasaki, 26 crosses were raised. This was the first public execution since the Shogun Hideyoshi gave the order to persecute Christians. Before that, no problems had happened. The great Jesuit missionary, Francesco Severio, had arrived in Japan in 1549. In a few decades, Christians had multiplied, reaching 200,000 believers. But the monarchs of that time, the Shogun, felt threatened and became concerned that this new religion would eventually lead to an invasion of Japan by Western powers. Because of this fear, they started a ferocious persecution of Christians. Paul Miki was well known among the Japanese Christians. He was the first Japanese Jesuit. He was also a great preacher, and many people converted after hearing him speak. Miki was arrested in Osaka in December 1596. In prison with him were two other Jesuits six Franciscan missionaries, and 17 Japanese lay people, including two teenagers, Antonia and Ludovico, 11 and 13 years of age. Together, there were 26 Christians total. They suffered tremendous tortures, but none denied their faith. They were forced to walk for 30 days from Osaka to Nagasaki, a journey of 800 kilometers during the freezing Japanese winter. The journey became an extraordinary testimony of faith. On February 5th, 1597, they were taken to the Tatayama Hill to be crucified. When they saw the crosses on which their names were written, they bent to their knees and kissed them. This place has been called the Holy Hill. Paul Miki spoke one last time there, forgiving his persecutors and encouraging them to convert. I declare that there is no other way to salvation apart from the one Christians follow. I forgive with happiness the emperor and any others responsible for my death. And I beg you to learn about Christian baptism. Everybody died praising God until their last breath. The blood of these martyrs became the seed for new Christians. More than 250 years passed before missionaries could return to Japan. But when they eventually went back, they found a flourishing Christian community awaiting them. The Kokre Christian, the hidden Christians, defended and kept their faith for over two centuries and could now finally worship openly. Paul Miki and his 25 companions were beatified in 1627 and canonized by Pope Pius IX in 1862. The Japanese government's practice of prohibiting Christianity was officially abolished in 1873. Pope Francis, who wanted to go on a mission to Japan when he was a young Jesuit, made an apostolic journey to Japan in 2019. Then, he could finally pray in front of the relics of the first Japanese martyrs. <laughs>